No, that's quite sufficient, Mr. Thanks. Lord? Thank you. What exactly is he doing now? He's on leave, actually. On vacation. Well, well, perhaps someone might get in touch with him. Oh, yes, certainly. No difficulty about that. Get him to pop over to Berlin. Hmm, I think so. Good. Shame about KLJ. Hmm. How was he killed? Shot. What gun? Long shot in spine, actually. 9.3. Same as Metzler. Oh, really? Now, how's your lunch? Rather good. What is it? Pheasant. Well, that should be rather good, is it? It is rather, yes. Excuse me, do you have a light? Certainly. Do you smoke this brand? Oh, no, I don't think I know that brand. Perhaps I might introduce it to you. Thank you. Ever been here before? No. Impressive, isn't it? Built by Werner in 1936 for the Olympics. It holds 100,000 people. Certain well-known personalities used to stand right up there. Must have been quite noisy. 100,000 people all cheering, wouldn't you say? Yes, yeah, quite noisy. Some labor verse. No, thanks. Or some shinkin. Oh, no. Wait a moment. What am I talking about? This isn't Schenken. It's Knackfurst. What about some Knackfurst? I'm not hungry. Aren't you? Oh, I am. Oh, you won't mind if I eat while we uh, walk? What do you want? You've been on holiday, I understand. I am on holiday. By the sea. What do you want? Oh, my name's Paul, by the way. What? P-O-L. Paul. Mine's Quiller. Oh, I know that. I'm told you've been working in the Middle East for some time. Yes, I've been working there. We've been engaged in some rather tough work here. Oh, I think we're coping moderately well with the situation in other parts of the country, but it's getting a bit out of hand in Berlin. Quite a tough bunch. Nazi from top to toe, in the classic tradition. But not just the remains of the old lot, oh no. There's quite a bit of new blood. Youth, firm believers, very dangerous. It wouldn't do to underestimate them. Oh, quite complex, of course, the overall... Uh, difficult to pinpoint. Nobody wears a brown shirt now, you see. No banners. Consequently, they're difficult to recognize. They look like everybody else. They move in various walks of life, but they are very careful and quite clever. And they look like everybody else. Intriguing, don't you think? Oh, however, I agree with you. I mean, that's all politics, not our job. I'll tell you what our job is. Our job is to get to the hard core, the extreme element, the ones you can recognize if you get close enough to see them. They have a base here, but we don't know where it is. We need, rather urgently, to find it. I've read the files. You read them while you were in London, did you? That's right. Who is our leading operator here in the last file you saw? Metzler. He's dead. Another colleague of yours took over from him, Kenneth Lindsay Jones. Mm -hmm. He's dead, too. He was killed two days ago, long-range 9.3 in the spine. 
we'd like you to take over. Oh, he was obstinate, he refused cover. If he'd allowed us to give him cover, he might not be dead, and we might have a better idea of how far he'd got. He was justified in using any method he thought fit. Not a very efficient method in his case. What do you know about it? You only talk to people. This is a very strong operation, fully urgent. They've killed two of our men. We want you to take over from Jones. Oh, I've been asked to say that this is not an order, but a request. Consider it, will you? At your leisure. I'll give you five minutes. Perhaps you join me in section E at 11.26. Yeah. I'd like to double Jack Daniels on the rocks. Do you have it? Jack Daniel? Double him. Mm. Would you like to see the evening paper? Do you smoke this brand? No, I don't think I know that brand. Perhaps I might introduce it to you. Would you say they are milder than other brands? They are milder than some other brands. Okay. I'll try one. I lost you. Why, were you following me? You were playing a game with me. I didn't appreciate it. Oh, come on, don't be silly. You might have been one of the adverse party. So you don't know you are here, yet. You don't think so? No. I am one of your cover. Hi. I would like to ask what method you intend to employ? Well... Same again. Well, I'll tell you. If you say they don't know I'm here, I think I'd better let them know I'm here. Otherwise, how are we ever going to get together? I see. That's your business. The fact is, I've been asked to give you certain fragments of information to do with some of K.L. Shade's movements. We have no idea what is of any value. What's your name? Hangel. Why are you so tense, Hangel? Are you being funny? Look at your hand. It's so tight. 
Look at your skin. Your skin's terrible. I don't think you get enough exercise. I have a feeling, Mr. Quiller, that you won't find life here so funny for very long. Why don't you drink your beer? I don't want it. I bought it for you. You can't make me want it, Mr. Quiller. Well, I need a chaser. I worked with Kate Che. I knew her. Oh, really? Did you know her? Yes, I did. If it allowed me to stay with him, I could have saved his life. Give me the information. What? You said you had information. Give it to me. I'm thinking of starting a big chain of these places in the States. Don't they have quite a few of them already? Yes. Oh, quite a few. Quite a few. Thousands. But there's always room for a few more. <laughs> <laughs> always. What kind of business do you do? Quite good. We have many regulars. Yes, a friend of mine was telling me about this place. He was in here a couple of nights ago. Don't know if you ever met him. A fellow by the name of Jones. Kenneth Lindsay Jones. Jones? No, I don't think so. No, I think I'd remember the name. Yes. <laughs> Would you like to bowl? No, not now, thanks. Uh, but maybe I'll come back another day. Bye, Mr. Uh... Weiss. Weiss. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Sorry, I don't understand. You're not swimming? No. This is for swimming, this place. I'm a coach. Back in the States, I teach swimming at Williamsburg, Virginia. I heard some of the best swimmers in Berlin come here. A friend of mine was telling me. An Englishman, name of Jones. This place is for swimming. You cannot watch. It's not allowed to have onlookers. Oh, what a pity. I'd hoped I'd have been able to watch. No. Pity. Well, danke. Seien Sie, Frau Schröder, dieser Herr möchte jemanden über Herrn Steiner sprechen. Ja, gut, danke. My name is Cooper, I'm a journalist. I speak English, I'm afraid, not so very well. I'm afraid I don't speak German at all. How can I help you? I'm writing an article for the Philadelphia World Review. You haven't heard of it? No. That's because it hasn't started yet. This is going to be the first number. Uh -huh. We in Philadelphia are convinced that current affairs in Europe have a great deal of bearing on the lives of the citizens of Philadelphia. You know, the people back home in Philly. Uh, I don't understand exactly I'm what... I'm collating the... material for an article about the Nazi situation in Germany. Nazis? That's right. We understand that you had a school teacher here recently named of Steiner who was discovered to have been a war criminal, is that right? That is so. Well, we'd like a little more information for our Philly readers. It was all reported. I didn't think it was reported in any great detail. The man hanged himself, I believe. Hang? Yeah, you know. Uh... Oh, hanged. 
Yes. <laughs> I'm so sorry, my English. I have a teacher here who has replaced this man. She knows English. Perhaps you would like to speak to her. Sure, thanks. If you will come with me, I will see if she is still here. Fräulein Lind, ja. kann ich Sie einen Moment sprechen, bitte? Ja, natürlich. Ist gut, Linde. Kannst jetzt gehen. Darf ich Ihnen Mr. Cooper vorstellen? Fräulein Lind, Mr. Cooper ist ein Journalist. Er schreibt einen Artikel über Herrn Steiner. Vielleicht können Sie ihm helfen in Englisch? Ja, natürlich. Gerne. Danke. Goodbye. Thank you. So you're writing an article about Herr Steiner? No, no, he's just an item. The article is about the present-day Nazi question in Germany. I don't know much about it myself. I've been a sports writer all my life. <laughs> But you know what boxing is these days? No, what? The golden days are over. You're not a boxing fan. No, I'm not. Oh. Well, listen, uh, this man Steiner, can you tell me anything about him? Not very much, I'm afraid. I mean, what was he like? He was a very good teacher. Was he? Oh, yes. We were so surprised when we heard about his past. We couldn't believe it. I mean, he was so wonderful with the children. Is that a fact? Yes. He seemed to feel, I don't know, a, a great responsibility towards them. It's funny how little you know about people, however closely you work with them. But I... What? I think it is true to say that at heart he was part of the old Germany. That's quite an interesting angle. The old Germany and the new Germany. Yeah, that's quite an interesting angle. What would you say were the aims of the new Germany? Oh, that's a very big question. What are your aims? Mine. As a school teacher. Well, I think perhaps... Uh, to try to teach the children a broader attitude towards Europe, a broader attitude towards the world. Mind if I quote that? Oh, I'm not an important person, really. I'm, I'm just a school teacher. But you're a young German woman. And that's what's going to interest the readers back home, the feminine point of view. We're very interested in the feminine point of view. You've been most helpful. Do you live near the school? No, I live in Wilmersdorf. Why don't I give you a lift? It's very kind of you. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. With your article. Oh, yes. Uh, I might want to reach you again about the article. Can I call you? I'm in school every day. Goodbye. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, that bag looks heavy. Very heavy. Why don't I help you carry it? All right. The point about Lewis was Lewis's coordination. Lewis had wonderful coordination. He was really, you know, he was really of a piece, that guy. And he had a killer inside him. I mean, look what he did to Schmeling. Who? Schmeling, German fighter. Lewis killed him. I thought Schmeling beat him. He beat him the first time, but Lewis killed him the second time. Ah. He massacred him. Yeah, I don't know what it is, but the Germans have been a great disappointment. I mean, from the boxing point of view. I mean, you know, you'd think that the way the German mind goes, I mean the old German mind, not the new German mind, you'd have thought they'd have done well in the fight game. But it hasn't worked out that way. We got him beat. <laughs> so it seems. But that's the way it goes. 
Cheers. Cheers. What kind of men do you know? I don't know many. Why not? Uh, I'm busy. You know, someone was telling me that there are some people who don't think, like, for instance, you do. How do you mean? Well, someone was telling me that there are some people here who wouldn't agree with your attitude about uh, Europe, about education, you know, about things like that. Well, that's true, I suppose. Well, that's what this man was telling me. Yes. You mean there are certain people here who believe that this country should be very strong, that it should be dominant? And that's right. They still believe that? Oh, yes, still. Well, listen, I don't think there's anything basically wrong with that, is there? I mean, we believe the same thing in the States. We believe our country should be strong. I wouldn't say dominant. I mean, we don't want to dominate anyone, but I would say strong. Yes, I'd say that. But listen, what kind of people are they exactly? Nazis? Well, they are, I would say. But of course, they don't call themselves that anymore. They don't? No. You know, this fits in with what this man was telling me. He was saying that these boys don't show themselves, that they keep themselves pretty much undercover. Yes, so I believe. Yeah? He was saying that they've got a kind of long-term policy, that they want to infiltrate themselves into the mind of the country over a period of years, but that they're not in any kind of hurry this time, you know. Yes. But that they're very convinced men, very convinced. Yes, I would say that, yes. Yes, that's exactly what this man was telling me. Who is this man? What man? The man who was talking to you. Oh, just a guy I met in a bar. Ah. Uh, are you going to write about this question in your article? Oh, no, no. That's outside my range. I'm not political. I haven't got a political brain. <laughs> <laughs> it's very pleasant here. Yes, I like it. Do you like living alone? I've been alone for a long time. My family was killed in the war. I live for my work now. How long are you staying in Berlin? Until I finish my assignment. Why don't we go out one night? That would be very nice. Are you following me? Ich frag sie, ob sie mir folgen. Ich? Nein. Warum folgen sie mir? Ich folge sie gar nicht. Sie müssen sich ihnen. Wohin gehen sie dann? Ich bin mit einem Bekannten verabredet. Bitte entschuldigen Sie. Wo bitte? Hier. Was ist denn los? Der Herr behauptet, dass ich ihn folge. Ja, du? <lacht> Warum? Weiß ich nicht. Oder? Sagen Sie mal, wie kommen Sie da auf? Was ist hier los, bitte? Der Herr belästigt mich. Belästigt Sie? Ja. Belästigen Sie dann. Kommen Sie nicht näher, bitte. Also, vielleicht habe ich nicht geirrt. Vielleicht sind Sie mir nicht gefolgt. Wenn das so ist, werde ich gehen. Sie sind mir im Weg.
Ow! What the hell? Oh, I am sorry, sir. I do apologize. What's your name? Grauber, sir.
Der ist soweit. Are you cold? What is it, day and night? My name's October. What's yours? What's the time? You just looked at your watch. It may be slow or fast. What time do you make it? Time isn't really very important. It is to me. I have an appointment. She looks something like that, too, so... She'll wait. Listen, can I make a suggestion? Oh, surely. But we would like to know your name first. Let me make the suggestion first. No, tell us your name first. They call me Spike. Not your nickname, your surname. Kennedy. What is your suggestion? I think this is a case of mistaken identity. I worked for Double Days in New York. I came to Berlin looking for rare books. Have you found them? Well, no, not quite yet. I haven't found them yet. What is your real name? My mother's maiden name was O'Reilly. What is your real name, please, Mr. Quiller? Well, originally I had to walk around with a double-barreled name, O'Reilly Kennedy, but I found it a bit heavy. When you find it heavy, so I dropped the O'Reilly and kept the Kennedy. What does your father do, Mr. Quiller? He's dead. And your mother? She's dead, too. And your sister? She's dead, too. What I mean is I never had one. I was an only child. You must be lonely. No, no. You must feel lonely now, sitting here among strangers. No, I like meeting people. You know, new faces. How's your leg? My leg? Oh, yes. Uh, someone scratched it with a suitcase. He did it. Oh, hi. Hello. Hello. We know a little about you. Me? A little. But we would like to know a little more. I shall tell you quite simply. We would like to know the exact location of your local control in Berlin. We would like to know a little more about your current code system. We would like to be able to appreciate the extent of your knowledge about us. And also, what information, if any, your predecessor managed to pass to your control. We would like to know the exact nature of your present mission in Berlin. You are a sensible man. You know perfectly well you must give us this information, since you have no alternative. I've got a telephone here. I think I should call my lawyer in New York, a guy called Kospensky. I'll make it collect, so don't worry about that. You don't work in New York, Mr. Quiller. You work in Europe and the Middle East.
Mr. Lyric. Keep enough. My name's October. What's yours? Quilla. Huh? And your first name? Inga. Your name is Inga? Really? That's a girl's name. It's the name of a girl. She must be a very beautiful girl. Tell us about her. You're not worried, are you? There's nothing to be worried about, is there? No. You can talk to me quite easily, can't you? No. Of course you can. You need to relax. They work you too hard. That boss of yours, what's his name? Huh? Yeah, what's his name? Inga. No, she's a girl. She's not your boss. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. Just sit up. You seem to be sleepy. Don't fall asleep. Not yet. Your friend Joan has hated your boss. They betrayed him and killed him. What was his name? She has long legs. Oh, really? I'm so glad to hear that. You're very lucky. After you leave us, you can go to her. She's waiting for you. Wait. She adores you. Oh, no. Oh, yes, adores you. She wants you only. She longs for you only. Long. Adores me. Wants me only. Now don't sleep. It's too early. Er hat sich zum Schlafen gezwungen. Noch nicht. Halt den Arm fest. Ärmel hoch. So. a good sleep you had. How do you feel? Great! <laughs> talk to me. Nothing to talk. Oh, come on, Quilla. We don't want to keep you here all night. Your control will be worried about you. 
You haven't reported for a long time. Don't report. I'm my... What? I'm my own master. But you mustn't lose touch with them. Why don't you phone them? Or we can take a message for you. What's the address? Not waiting. Of course they are waiting. And Inga's waiting. Who is Inga? Who? What's her second name? Inga what? Who? Inga who? What? Inga what? Link. 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 Is she your link? No link. Of course you have a link. You have colleagues. She's with your colleagues now. No colleagues. You have a cover man. What's his name? Hang, 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 hang him! That's unkind. He's your friend. What's his name? Jones. Jones knows him, huh? He's with him now. Dead. He's with her now. He's in bed with her now. He's enjoying her now. You must tell your pet. He's dead. You mustn't let her touch him. He's a corpse. Where's your pet? Tell us your base. She's your colleague. How does she get signals from local control? She's not. Where's your base? Secret. It's secret. Paul doesn't. Paul. Who's Paul? Pop it in a box. Who is Paul? Polly Paul. Good Polly. Pitch up. Which pitch up? Is that where your control is now? Which pitch up? In the zoo. out of my way. Do you smoke this brand? What brand? Don't know it. Too strong. Would you like a cigarette? Not bright brand. What is your favorite brand? No smoking. Call the guard. <laughs> the next station is Corfiston. What number do you want? No number. Oh, don't be silly. Your control is in Corfiston. We know that. But you must get your message to your chief. We've lost the number. What is it? Too late. It's never too late. They're waiting for you. They're worried. They want to know where you are. What is the number? The number. What? The church. The churches. Where are we? In your base. Ah, don't be stupid, Quilla. You're not a baby. Inga, what? Flynn, not lying well. What's the number of your base? Three, five, eight, nine, ten. We just got a call from your base. You're ordered to make an immediate report. Begin your report, Quilla. Can you hear me? Begin it! Do anything. It won't matter. Oh, you wasted my time. Inject him. When he's unconscious, kill him. Summer banquet. Oh, yes, yes. yes. I've never been asked. Haven't you? Um, any news from Berlin? Not really, no. Oh, we'll chase them up in the morning. We'll find out what's going on. Yes, I will. Uh, I always enjoy the banquet. It's a very splendid occasion. Oh! Yes, I'm sure it is.
Ich brauche ein paar Schuhe, Größe 43. Können Sie mir welche besorgen? I like a room. In Zimmer, bitte. I'd like a pair of shoes. Schuhe, Größe 43. Matt Monroe with his latest Wednesday's Giant. You're listening to music through the night on AFN Berlin, the American Forces Network. Yeah? I'm sorry, it's very late. Who is this? Me, Cooper. I was in bed. Did you get out of bed? No, I'm still there. What is it? What's the time? It's so late. Are you alone? I'm asleep. Are you all right? I want to see you. Not now, I'm afraid. When then? Tomorrow, if you like. After school. Come and have some coffee. All right. I'll be there. Good night. Good night. He's 
Так. this brand? No, I don't think I know that brand. Perhaps I might introduce it to you. All right. All right, what do you want? They're milder than some other brands. Yes, I know they are. What do you want? Would you like to try one? Wow, you boys are tough. Yes, I'd love to try one. May I please? Certainly. Won't you join me? I don't smoke. You don't look too well. Listen, don't try to be an intellectual. What do you want? I've been waiting for you here. Your car was found abandoned. We bought it back. We don't really know what you're up to. Uh-huh. I see. I have to take you to meet someone. You do, huh? Yes. I do. Did you say something? I would like some black coffee. Please. Oh, well, I'm Cafe Bitter. Bitter? I've been to their base. Oh, yes? But I don't know where it is. You were sleepwalking. I was taken there. Ah. Met a man called October. Oh, yes? Know him? We've never actually met. At the end of our conversation, he ordered them to kill me. And did they? No. Oh, very odd. Do you think they disobeyed him? I wouldn't think so. They didn't take... Trent? Thanks, son. They didn't take me through the full course, either. Didn't want to hurt you unduly, I'm sure. They hurt KLJ. He got too close. I got close. You were helpless. I'm alive, anyway. Well, that's nice to know. They wanted to know where our base was. And did you tell them? They obviously think they can find our base through another method. Do you know I think you're right? But what other method? I can find their base by another method. How? Oh. Would you like to tell me? No. Oh. You're on a delicate mission, Willa. Perhaps you're beginning to appreciate that. Let me put it this way. There are two opposing armies drawn up on the field, but there's a heavy fog. They can't see each other. Or oh, they want to, of course, very much. You are in the gap between them. You can just see us, you can just see them. Your mission is to get near enough to see them to signal their position to us, so giving us the advantage. But if, in signaling their position to us, you inadvertently signal our position to them, it is they who will gain a very considerable advantage. That's where you are, Quilla. In the gap. Did you get to sleep? What? Did you get to sleep again after I phoned? Yes. Not immediately, did you? Not immediately. It was a strange time to call. You seem different. Do I? Quieter. I've been thinking about you.
How is your article? The one you were going to write? I haven't written it. Um, actually, um, that wasn't exactly true. There's no such thing as the Philadelphia World Review. For whom are you writing, then? No one. I'm not a writer. <laughs> what I, are you? I'm a kind of investigator. What do you mean? I'm investigating those people we were talking about last time. Those people, what do you mean? Those people. But you said you were a journalist. I'm not. Why are you telling me? I thought you ought to know. But do you realize what kind of people they are? They are ruthless. They are. Quite ruthless. Everyone here knows about them. They've killed people. You don't have to worry about me. I just thought you ought to know, that's all. Do you have a gun? No, no. Why not? Shouldn't you have one? If you don't carry a gun, you're less likely to get yourself killed. Believe me. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you all the time. No, please. I don't want to touch you. You're so white. Have you been waiting for me? Yes. I know you. I'm worried about you, you know. A friend of my father's. He's told me about them. About who? Those people. He was with them. A friend of your father's? Yes. I know what they're like. He's told me what they're like. Yes. He knew them. Where is he, this man? What? Do you know where he is? Can you reach him? Yes, I... I think so. Why? I think I'd like to speak to him. But why? Just a word. <laughs> but I've told you he's not with him anymore. He might be able to help. <laughs> he might not want to. Listen, I want to know where their base is, you see. But he wouldn't know. If he was with them, he might know. Can I see him? You really want to? Yes. He must be here. The door was open. Well, let's wait. Want to dance? <laughs> no, thank you. It's so strange being here. Let's go down to the deep end. Uh, 
We could do an underwater ballet. Ever done that? Draft. What's his name? Hustler. Maybe the bar's open. Ah. I have to be late. This is the man. We've met. I had to be late. I had to make some inquiries. I wanted to give you this information. I'm glad you're someone to do something. Uh-huh. I was checking. But I have to tell you, they have moved from the old house. I don't know the new house. I keep away from things, you see. Uh-huh. But I think I know someone who does. What does he know? I don't know. I think. I think perhaps where they are. Can I see him? I can try. I can ask. There's a telephone. Shall I ask? Where's the telephone? In the back. It's only a draft. We better get you home. I want to stay with you. You are surprised to see me. Yes, I am. I told the police about Steiner. I'm glad to see you again, Mr. Cooper. I'm glad to be of help. I try to help your friend, but... You know the house? Yes. Where is it? That's it. Is there anyone in there? I don't know. I just know that's the house. We must all go now. Come on, you can tell your people. Oh, no, I have to check whether she's right. How? I've got to go over there to check whether she's right. I am right. Alice can check your people. Why do you have to do that? Well, it's part of my job, you see. I'm going. I've shown you the house. That's all I can do. You go with them. No. I'll wait for you. You're stupid. I go with you. You keep the car. Thank you. Don't mention it. Don't worry, I'm just going to check, that's all. Now, listen, I want you to remember a telephone number, all right? Yes. Now, fix it. 218962. Got it? 218962. If I'm not back in 20 minutes, bring that number. Tell them you've run out of cigarettes. Tell them where you are, and they'll bring you some, okay? Yes. What's the number? 218962. Stay here 20 minutes. Listen, I love you.
Come up, please. Oh, hello, Quilla. Do come in. Sit down. What a surprise. And what will you have to drink? A double Jack Daniels on the rocks. A double Jack Daniels on the rocks. We are having kind Jack Daniels, Laxville. No Jack Daniels? What would you say to some old Kentucky granddad? Make it scotch malt. Oh, I wish we could help you there. But unfortunately, I know we can't. What kind of a bar is this, for Pete's sake? I'm not a barman, Mr. Quiller. I'm a German gentleman. Please. Where are we going? Downstairs. Nicht zu nahe stehen. He's working late. We are moving tomorrow. Oh? Yes, we have a busy night ahead of us. We are moving all our equipment. We are changing our base. We just found her, sitting in a car quite near here. Her first name is Inge. So what? She's your friend. I've never seen her before. Oh, yes, yes. She's your close friend, Inge. I remember the name well. You, do you remember the name? Here strikes Phil. You can talk to me quite easily, can't you? No. Of course you can. You need to relax. They work you too hard. That boss of yours, what's his name? Um, uh, what's his name? Inga. No, she's a girl. She's not your boss. I'm so glad to hear that. You're very lucky. After you leave us, you can go to her. She's waiting for you. Why? She adores you. Oh. oh, yes, adores you. She wants you only. She longs for you only. was talking about was fat, very fat, gigantic. I don't know this girl. 
For a nice, innocent German girl, you pick a very bizarre friend. Do you understand English? Verstehen Sie English? Nein. <laughs> You must find him very attractive. What's it like to be so sexually attractive, Quilla? Hmm? Anyway, I'm so glad you were able to drop in tonight. You're quite free to go now. Really? You can go. There's just one thing. We are still very interested in the location of your base. We feel that there might be some information there which could be of importance to us. So, let me make a proposal to you. If you would like to tell us where your base is, you can take her with you. Truly, she will be quite safe, quite free. If not, she will stay here with us. Hmm? But do go, if you like, and consider the matter. Take a walk. Think about it. But please don't forget that you have complete freedom to return here at any time. Give us the information we require and leave. With this lady. We'll give you till dawn. If you're still undecided by dawn, we will kill you both. How's that? Fair? Sure. Good. Right. I'll get some air. Yes, why don't you? I hope to see you a little later tonight. In fact, I'm sure I will. Take Mr. Quiller up in the lift with you. He knows the way out.
Gute Nacht. Gute Nacht. Ein Café, bitte. Ja, bitte. light.
Yes, he's here. Any coffee? I think so. Where is Paul? He's been on all night. He's just gone to bed. He's coming. Sugar? No, thanks. We have been up all night, too. Have you? Hello, Quilla. Tiergarten number six, that's their base. Big house by the canal looks derelict. Get Ziegler. Will they still be there? Yeah. They're not worried. They think I'm dead. They think I was blown up in a car. Ein Moment, bitte. Here's Lokalkontrolle, Berlin. Hello, Ziegler. Our man's back. Tiergarten, number six, by the canal. You can go in now. Right. I'd like a full report as soon as possible, Quiller. You'll get it. Give yourself a little rest first, of course. Oh, thanks. I'm going to change. Any word? No. LKB. Ein Moment, bitte. Hello? Take it. Yeah? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, thank you. Goodbye. They've got them all. Good. Well, where's my breakfast? Where's mine? Oh, are you hungry? Why don't we have breakfast together upstairs in about, uh, oh, eight minutes? I'm too tired to go upstairs. We'll have it sent to you, Quiller. Don't put yourself out. Will you join me, Hengel? With pleasure. Well, that's that, for the time being. What are the details? Not many, as I got some more. So I got October. They find a girl there? No, no mention of a girl. They got Dorfmann and Nagel. Are you sure they didn't find a girl there? Yes, quite sure. No, no girl.
Du kannst jetzt gehen, sie dem anderen Raum wieder raus. Hallo. Hallo, wie bist du? Ich bin alles gut. Ich war sehr glücklich. What? Sorry? I said I was very lucky. Oh, how? They let me go. Did they? Yes. Yes, suddenly they told me to go. Well, you must have felt pretty relieved. I did. We got all of them. Oh, really? Good. Well, not all of them, perhaps. Most of them. You seem tired. I had a happy night. Oh, uh, I tried to phone that number, by the way, after I got out. You remember the number you gave me? Oh, yes. Yes, I tried, but it didn't exist. Oh, really? I must have made a mistake. Well, I'm leaving Berlin. Are you? I'm a little tired. You worked too hard. Well, you too. I'm sure you could take things a little easier, you know. Oh, no, I... I have my work to do. I must do it. I want to do it. Well, if I ever get back to Berlin, I'll look you up. Yes, please. That would be nice. By the way, did you ever meet a man called Jones? No. No, I don't think so. Goodbye. Augenlese gefunden? Ja, ich habe sie gefunden.